if quantum computing gets involved in AI, what are we looking at? Quantum computers is bigger than that. It actually increases your ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. The universe's deepest mysteries might all collapse into a single, elegant formula. One code book to explain everything from quantum particles to cosmic structures. This isn't just a physicist's dream. Today we unveil two groundbreaking tools that could reveal whether this Omega signal actually exists. Tool 1. The Omega Compression Index. This measures how efficiently a single algorithm can predict patterns across completely different data sets, from cosmic background radiation to particle collisions. Tool 2. Our Public Prediction Ledger. We're putting our reputation on the line by registering specific forecasts before new scientific data is released. You will see exactly what we predict will appear in upcoming gravitational wave data, cosmic surveys, and collider experiments. If these predictions hit their mark, physics as we know it changes forever. The clock for these tests is already running. The question isn't if we'll know, it's when. Imagine zipping the universe into one tiny file. If that file predicts tomorrow's data, we stop hunting new laws. That's the Omega signal we're chasing. Today I'll show you the scorecard and the bets we're placing. For decades, physicist Michio Kaku has championed the search for a God equation, a single unified theory that explains all physical forces. What we're proposing takes this vision one crucial step further. A quantum accelerated AI system could surface this compact rulebook by analyzing patterns across data sets we currently treat as separate. This isn't science fiction. It's built on breakthroughs happening right now in quantum computing labs worldwide. To be clear, finding an Omega signal wouldn't end scientific experimentation. It would end the need to hunt for entirely new physics models. The universe would still surprise us, but within a single coherent framework. The key difference in our approach? We're not looking at just one experiment or one data set. We're searching for the same pattern across completely independent sources. Cosmic background radiation, gravitational waves, particle collider events, and quantum material behaviors. Now, let's show you the new moves we bring to this hunt that no one else is making. The Omega Compression Index measures how efficiently a single algorithm explains diverse physical phenomena. Think of it like file compression. The more you can shrink different data sets using the same formula, the higher your OCI score. In technical terms, we're using minimum description length. It's simple. Fewer bits needed to tell the complete story means a better theory. Nature loves efficiency. The OCI rises dramatically when one short program outperforms many separate models. If we can explain cosmic microwave background patterns and particle collisions with the same compact algorithm and predict new features before they're measured, that's when physics changes forever. Our prediction. Ledger takes this beyond theory. Every forecast we make gets time-stamped and published before the data arrives. We're specifying exactly which patterns should appear in upcoming experiments from DESI cosmic surveys to nanohertz gravitational wave detections. We're putting skin in the game by declaring precise predictions that either hit or miss. No wiggle room, no post hoc explanations. If you want to follow this unfold in real time, hit subscribe now. We'll score these predictions in public as each new data set drops, starting with the next Pulsar Timing Array release. Our first major forecast targets something astronomers just discovered, the Hellings Downs correlation in gravitational waves. This signature pattern was recently confirmed by NANOGRAV after 15 years of watching millisecond pulsars across the galaxy. But our Omega model says something even more fascinating lurks in that same data. Specific higher order patterns that no one is looking for yet. Do you think these new cross correlations exist in the gravitational wave background? Drop your thoughts below. The universe might be more structured than anyone realizes. Stay with me. In exactly one minute, I'll reveal three measurable predictions our quantum AI framework makes. Predictions we've already locked into our public ledger before the data arrives. Prediction. A. Pulsar timing. Array next order structure. Our model forecasts specific higher order angular correlations 
in the nanohertz gravitational wave background. Not just the Hellings Downs curve everyone's talking about, but precise mathematical relationships between pulsars separated by different angles. The rulebook must predict these patterns before the next IPTA data release, or our Omega hypothesis fails its first major test. Prediction B. Cross-domain scaling law. Here's where things get wild. We expect the same mathematical formula to appear in both large hadron, collider, jet substructure, and quantum material phase transitions. Same equation, completely different physical realms. This shared scaling law would be the smoking gun that one program governs seemingly unrelated systems. Prediction. C. Spectral fingerprint and technosignature searches. The breakthrough. Listen Project has used deep learning to identify eight intriguing narrowband signals. If a universal code governs both noise and signal across the cosmos, these anomaly clusters should compress under the same short algorithm. We've defined reobservation thresholds now, before anyone confirms or rejects these candidates. These aren't vague speculations. They're public bets with clear pass fail criteria that we've timestamped before the evidence arrives. Physics becomes a scoreboard, and you'll witness every call. Let's be crystal clear about what we're proposing. If these cross-domain predictions hold true, the endless quest for competing physics models dramatically shrinks. That's what could end physics means in our title. Not experiments, not discoveries, but the sprawling tree of separate theories would collapse into one trunk. Think about it. Cosmology, particle physics, and quantum materials all explain by the same compact program. The universe suddenly reads like one book written in one language, not separate textbooks that barely speak to each other. But how do we get there? In the next segment, I'll show you both the quantum hardware path and the exact calendar of scientific releases that will prove or disprove our hypothesis. Next, the plan meets the machines. You will see which milestones matter and when exactly we'll know if the Omega signal is real. The quantum hardware we need is coming online faster than most people realize. In 2025, IBM demonstrated below threshold surface code memories in nature, the clearest evidence yet that error correction actually works. A surface code is essentially a safety net for quantum bits. When one qubit makes a mistake, the surrounding qubits catch and fix it. Let's be brutally honest about the numbers. We need around 1,000 physical qubits to protect a single logical qubit from errors. That's why we need targeted quantum A, I approaches, not generic algorithms. The good news? Neutral atom systems have already crossed the 1,000 qubit threshold with coherence times long enough for serious work. Their reconfigurable layouts are perfect for the graph-like encodings our compression search requires. What this means? Some quantum machine learning tasks specifically designed for physics data analysis are now within reach. Not general AI, but the focused algorithms needed for Omega signal detection. Now that we know the machines can handle it, let's set up the exact scoreboard for the months ahead. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. The scientific community is about to release a flood of data perfect for testing our Omega hypothesis. Here's exactly when we'll know. The International Pulsar Timing Array is combining results from teams worldwide. Their next release will either show or miss our predicted higher order correlations. Our ledger has already documented what patterns must appear. DZI, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, 
continues mapping millions of galaxies with unprecedented precision. Their data release 2 in 2025 pairs perfectly with Euclid's first quick-release cosmology results in March. The Large Hadron Collider's run, three keeps producing terabytes of collision data. We've pre-registered which jet substructure patterns should match our materials, science predictions. Meanwhile, Breakthrough Listen's improved SETI pipelines are getting better at filtering false positives. We've specified exactly which anomaly features our compression model should flag before any reobservation. Each of these data releases has a binary rule in our prediction ledger, pass or fail, with no wiggle room for interpretation. The most exciting part? The first major tests arrive within months, not years. If this universal codebook holds across even two of these domains, material science and energy design could transform faster than anyone expects. Let me show you why. A confirmed Omega signal would revolutionize how we interact with the physical world. Here's what changes for you. Materials discovery would accelerate dramatically. One compact rule predicting how atoms arrange themselves means we could design superconductors, quantum materials, and metamaterials without endless trial and error. Energy devices would improve as we predict new phases, defects, and interfaces with unprecedented accuracy. Imagine solar cells, batteries, and fusion containment all optimized from the same mathematical framework. Navigation systems would become more precise as we better model gravitational backgrounds. Your GPS might jump from meter level to centimeter level accuracy, even in challenging environments. Space communication would benefit from stronger signal vetting. The same compression that identifies cosmic patterns helps distinguish real signals from noise, critical for deep space missions and potential techno-signature detection. Economically, this shifts resources from competing theories to practical engineering. Less debate about which model is right, more implementation of what works. But there's an ethical dimension we must address. No single group should lock up this codebook. If confirmed, the Omega signal belongs to humanity not to any corporation or government. Now, let me show you exactly how we test ourselves to ensure this isn't just another beautiful theory. Red team the idea by design. Science advances through rigorous testing, not wishful thinking. That's why the researchers have built a gauntlet of challenges for their Omega hypothesis. First, they run null tests with deliberately scrambled and masked data sets. If their compression still works on nonsense data, they know it's just overfitting patterns. They require validation on held out time windows, data collected after their algorithm was frozen, no sneaky adjustments after seeing the results. Most importantly, they've invited external teams to conduct blind checks on their methods. These scientists don't know what patterns the researchers are looking for until after they've analyzed the data. If compression gains vanish under any of these challenges, they immediately mark fail on the public ledger. No excuses, no second chances. The scientific process demands this level of scrutiny for extraordinary claims. You deserve transparency about exactly how these tests work. Here is the simple rule. A true Omega pattern travels. It works on sky maps. It works on collider events. It works on lab materials. If it fails on any leg, they do not count it. No excuses, no retrofits. To make this complex search easier to follow, the scientists have defined three clear gates the Omega signal must pass. Gate one, compressibility. Does one short program explain diverse data sets better than many separate models? They measure this directly with the Omega compression index, which counts the bits needed to encode both the model and its prediction errors. Gate two, prediction. Does the model correctly forecast new features and data it hasn't seen? Not just fitting past results, but calling shots before they happen in completely different experiments. Gate three, robustness. Does the pattern survive when they account for instrumental quirks, foreground noise, and all the messy realities of real world measurements? A true Omega signal must clear all three gates, fail any single test, and the hypothesis returns to the drawing board. Now, let me reveal the exact wagers these researchers have placed on their prediction ledger, specific patterns they expect to see in upcoming scientific releases. Entry 1, pulsar timing, array next order terms. 
The team has published the exact angles and correlation coefficients they expect to see in the nanohertz gravitational wave background. Specifically, AJ4 quadrupole term with a power law scaling of negative 1.8 that should appear in the next IPTA release. They accept complete failure if this pattern doesn't materialize. No partial credit, no claiming they were almost right. The universe either follows their prediction or it doesn't. Entry two, cross domain scaling between colliders and materials. They've registered the precise mathematical form, a power law with exponent 2.3 and a logarithmic correction term that should appear in both LHC jet substructure and quantum material phase transitions near critical points. They accept failure if either domain contradicts this form. Both must show the same pattern for their hypothesis to pass. Entry three, SETI anomaly compression. The researchers have set a specific compression threshold for the signal candidates identified by Breakthrough Listen. Their algorithm must compress these patterns 40% more efficiently than standard models while maintaining the same detection power. They've established strict reobservation rules identical to the ones used in the 2023 Nature Astronomy study. Their predictions must hold under the same scrutiny. Screenshots of the ledger are live. The rules are simple. They post the math now. Then they meet the data. They pass only if the numbers land. The smartest objection to this omega signal hypothesis comes from chaos theory and undecidability theorems. Chaos tells us that tiny differences in initial conditions can produce wildly different outcomes. Mathematical undecidability proves some problems have no algorithmic solution. These are real limits. The researchers acknowledge them fully. Their response is focused precision. They don't claim to predict everything everywhere. They target specific domains where patterns should be stable enough to test. Even if an omega signal exists, it won't end all discovery. There will always be chaotic systems, computational boundaries, and measurement challenges. What they're after is useful reach, a unified framework that simplifies our understanding across previously disconnected fields. Now, let me offer a simple analogy that makes this entire concept crystal clear. Think of a quantum bit like a coin spinning in midair. It's not just heads or tails, it's both possibilities at once until you measure it. A surface code works like a safety net, woven from many of these spinning coins. If one coin falls the wrong way, the pattern of its neighbors reveals and corrects the mistake. The minimum description length principle behind the Omega Compression Index works just like zipping a computer folder. The more patterns your compression finds, the smaller the file becomes. Fewer bytes means smarter order. The Hellings Downs curve in pulsar timing arrays is like a choir's harmony across the sky. Each pair of pulsars shares a specific relationship based on their angle, like musical notes that must follow rules to create harmony. These aren't just nice metaphors. They are the practical building blocks of a unified description of nature. If this works, scientists waste fewer years chasing dead ends. Research budgets aim better Kids learn a cleaner map of nature. That is worth the effort. Many of you have commented on our previous videos asking for more verifiable claims. You're tired of theories that can't be tested and predictions that never face real data. We hear you. That's exactly what makes this prediction ledger and Omega Compression Index so fascinating. These tools turn speculation into scorable science with clear wins and losses. Now we turn it back to you. Which dataset should scientists add next to these cross-domain tests? Drop your suggestions below. Exoplanet atmospheres, quantum computing noise patterns, brain network structures. Your input could shape where researchers look next. Over the next 30 days, the scientific teams will complete three crucial steps in this journey. First, they'll finalize and publish the complete mathematical formulations for all ledger entries. No vague statements, exact equations, coefficients, and statistical tests for each prediction. Second, they'll provide links to open data portals where anyone can download the same data sets they're using. CERN Open Data for Collider Events, GWOSC for Gravitational Wave Strains, Nanograv for Pulsar Timing, Complete Transparency. Third, result updates are scheduled to coincide with each major data release. The first comes when the combined international pulsar timing array results drop. This isn't a years-long quest. 
The first verdict arrives within months, and we'll bring you that coverage.